Hi, this is Danielle. Welcome to the Simpler Options free video for the night of November 1st, 2018. So I wanted to go ahead and talk about Apple. I talked about it in the um, paid video, but I want to go ahead and talk about a trade idea here uh, for tomorrow. So as we can see right now, at this moment in time, Apple is down I traded it as low as 205.16 after earnings. And something interesting that I wanted to point out is, you know, some of our other key names that reported earnings last week, they had some pretty quick day trade opportunities in here. So if you look at um, Amazon, for example, we had Amazon reporting on the 25th. You had something that then... Um, gap down, traded lower, and then boom, off a cliff it went, right? So, you know, looking at that as well as the reactions uh, with Microsoft, I mean, even Microsoft had a positive report, but it's still traded lower. You have stuff like Caterpillar that, you know, just boom, fell off a cliff right there, and then the next day just kept going even lower. Same thing with Triple M. So I think that there could be some opportunity here in Apple to play this to the short side, um, to play this to the short side if you get some continuation. So what does that look what does that look like? Well, first thing in the morning, when Henry's going over these, he's always going to be looking at that 15 minute range. So what we're looking for is at about 845 central time. We want to make note of the 15 minute range um, that has been populated with these candles. Now, how do you know if it's triggering? Well, there's a couple different reasons. Number one, I have a key area of symmetry right here at 204.34. So if that breaks, that's a signal that it might fall lower. Um, I think also the break of the 15 minute range to the downside is a signal that's going to fall lower. The third thing is going to be the 195 minute squeeze and the fact that it's almost overbought. And the fourth thing is going to be the daily squeeze. So I think that there is definitely potential for an after hour or for an after earnings trade in Apple. Now, is it going to come through? That's the question that we don't know and we have to wait until tomorrow to see. So what, is it, what does it look like if it doesn't set up? All right. So if it doesn't set up, if we open up tomorrow at two, whatever, it doesn't matter what the number is, but right now we're trading at 207.32. So if we open up tomorrow and it starts stair-stepping higher on a five-minute chart, you want to pull up your five-minute chart. If you have something that is stair-stepping higher and you get a switch in pattern, which would be a blue grab candles you see right here, this is the switch. So do you see how the candles were red and then they shifted to blue and then they shift to green? Now that is conversely a buy signal. Uh, that's like one of those, here, let's look at Boeing. I think that'll be a good example. So here we go. You have Boeing that gapped down. Um, you have Boeing that gapped down after the plane crash, right? And then the question is always, okay, what do we do? Do we short it from there? It's gonna is it gonna keep falling or is that a buying opportunity? So in Boeing's case, this was absolutely a buying opportunity, but how did we know that on market open? Well, you bracket off your 15 minute range and you need to look for your shift in pattern. So you're gonna see price candles that are printing above instead of below the moving averages. You wanna see the color shift from red to blue to green, and then you wanna see it continue to stair step higher, making higher highs and higher lows. That is a buy signal. Now, if the opposite happens, and if this thing just falls off a cliff tomorrow and takes the NASDAQ down with it, I think you can make some money on the 195 minute squeeze to the downside. And I think we could see Apple at 192.18. So that's what I'm looking for. How would you trade it? Um, I would just buy the uh, puts on it maybe the November 15s come out here and you know, you got to wait a couple minutes. You don't want to do it right on market open, but if you come out here and you get some of these guys right here, maybe the two 15s, it'll cost you about $5 or so. Uh, something like that. I think it's absolutely tradable. If you don't want to actually trade Apple trade Google, this one's a pretty, pretty easy short right there. So I guess I shouldn't call anything easy. I'm probably going to curse it, but 
Um, Google clearly has a downward trending pattern, 195 minute squeeze. If you're looking for something else to short after negative Apple news, I think you could short that as well. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this free video and I'll see you in the trading room.